Hello friends, my name is Kumar and welcome back to my channel Kumar Programming. In our previous video, we have learned about spying, mocking and disturbing functions by using signal library and we have learned about the differences among all of them. Now in this video, we are going to learn about asynchronous testing by using a sync await keyword as well as we will see how to test our promises. Okay, so now let's start here in our current project inside our calculator.ts file here i'm going to create a asynchronous method okay here i'll write a sync function a sync function promise okay inside this function we are going to return a promise so here return new promise and promise takes two parameter as a resolve and reject so here inside this we will have a callback function and inside this we have resolve and reject right and inside this we are going to call our set timeout function set timeout syntax is very simple here inside this function we have to pass our callback function so it takes two parameter one is callback function second one is time okay so if you see here timeout so here i'll give one second 1000 milliseconds okay and inside this function callback function here i'll use resolve i'm resolving from here value 4 okay that's it so here i have created a very simple function asynchronous function where i'm returning a promise and that promise is returning value 4 okay after one second now we have to write the test cases for this function now let's go back to our test folder here i'll create a separate file as a sync await promise dot spec dot ts okay so first of all here we will write our test suite so we know how to write our test suite describe and inside describe here we will give the description as a sync await and promise test suites okay and our second parameter would be the callback function so here we will write our fat arrow function and inside this i'm going to create a variable as let calc that would be type of calculator okay so if you see here calculator is auto imported over here now now here we will write our test case and we know how to write our test case by using it, it method here we will give the description should work with async await okay async and await and the second parameter would be our callback function as a fat arrow function okay for the test we know we have to write our test cases in the 3a pattern first one is arrange second one is act and third one is assert okay now in the arrange section what we will do first we will instantiate our calculator class so here calc equal to new calculator class now we have instantiated our calculator class in arrange section now come to the act we will create a variable over here as a const result equal to calc dot here we have our async function promise okay and in the assert section we will write our expect this expect is imported from chai library now expect result to equal equal to 4 right why because here if you see in our calculator class we are we are resolving this promise as a 4 so this is absolutely fine when we are having a normal function but this is not our normal function this is our asynchronous function okay so it's not going to work so here uh, what is going to happen all the test cases is going to be executed we will focus on this test suite is going to be executed so we will write our npm run test so it's going to be fail right why because we have not handled our asynchronous functions see here assertion error expected promise to equal to 4 so this is getting failed so how we can handle this okay so here in order to handle our asynchronous functions here we have to write our async keyword and wherever we are calling our asynchronous function we have to write our await keyword okay as simple as that by using our async await for the function at the function level we have to write async and wherever we are calling our asynchronous function we have to write await so what will happen this this function is going to return value as 4 and which we are expecting over here okay so now this test case is going to be passed see now async await and promise test suit 
and inside this test shoot this test case is getting passed okay this is a one way of handling this asynchronous function there is another way that we can handle this asynchronous function by resolving our promise so here what we have to do i'll remove this async keyword and we remember that whenever we are using async we have to use await okay so here i'll remove and i'll remove this one as well okay so this function is returning a promise and we know how we can resolve our promise by using then method so then and inside then we have to pass our fat arrow function as a callback function and this callback function is having a parameter as a result whatever the promise is going to return it's going to be value inside the result okay so we are going to copy this line from here and we can expect here right our result to be equal to 4 we remember that this result variable is accessible inside this then method only if you try to access this result method outside of this then method it won't be accessible okay now let's run this test case here we are doing our act as well as assert both inside our then function okay now let's run this test case npm run test see both of the test cases are getting passed so now here we have learned about how to handle our asynchronous functions while writing our test cases by using our async and await keyword as well as by resolving our promise using then method so i hope friends that you have understood about how to write our test cases by our asynchronous functions in the next section we are going to learn about very important library as knock and how to mock our api and its data okay friends there is a humble request if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all of my upcoming videos and still if you are having any doubts please write me in the comment section and definitely i'll try to respond for those comments as soon as possible i'll push this code to the github and provide the link to the description so friends i'll see you in my next video till then take care